Yeah, flash drought is the rapid intensification of drought set in motion by below normal precipitation rates, abnormally high temperatures, wind and radiation. I spoke with National Weather Service meteorologist Rachel Cobb about the term and discussed the drought outlook for the rest of the summer. The term flash drought was first used in 2002, but it did not start gaining momentum and being widely researched until 2020 after a large scale flash drought occurred in the southeast United States in 2019. Now flash drought is not all that uncommon around here as it happens every few years. Flash drought doesn't occur every year. We pretty much do have our seasonal summer drought that does happen every year. Uh, but the last time we had an extreme flash drought was actually in 2012. And this is mild compared to what happened then. In 2012, we went from no drought in April to um, extreme drought by, uh, by the end of June. Thankfully, the drought conditions we are seeing have been mild so far, with only part of the area developing abnormally dry conditions. Another positive aspect is that the onset of this drought has waited until after the crops were planted. Now, flash drought is more common in the Great Plains and in the western portions of the Midwest. These locations will likely see a drought of greater severity through the rest of the summer, although we'll still likely see the drought expand by some degree locally. Now, Cobb says one study is looking into the increasing frequency and speed of flash droughts. They're striking faster in the last two decades with 33 to 46% of flash droughts now emerging within just five days. So, and whereas a traditional drought takes several months to develop, we're getting heat waves that are taking us from no drought to drought. And that's really what happened last week. You'll want to conserve some water as flash drought develops. Here's one approach you can take. Don't run your dishwasher or your washer machine unless it's full. So wait until you fill it up so you're running it less frequently. And, uh, and you really don't even need to rinse your dishes before you put them in. I know we've all, we all do it. We've been trained to do that. Our moms taught us, rinse the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. But today's new dishwashers are really pretty good and we don't need to do that. So we can save water that way as well. All right, some good advice there. To learn more about flash droughts and how you can get involved with monitoring drought conditions, visit this story on Wayne.com. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.